What were your personal experiences working there? How were you hired on? Um, I have a stepdaughter who lives with me who has a developmental disability. And um, the CEI put on um, employment readiness classes. And I was going with her to those classes to help her understand the, the printed material and to make sure that she was getting the information that she needed. And after one of the classes, the uh, office manager pulled me aside and asked me if I would be interested in working for them. And you know, I explained to her that um, I have an, an genetic autoimmune disease. That's why I'm no longer working as a nurse, I'm disabled. And I explained to her in a lot of detail what my disability entails and you know, what things I would be able to do and what things I wouldn't. And you know, she and I talked for quite a while and we came up with some reasonable accommodations that um, would make it possible for me to work. So, you know, we agreed on what my duties were and I undertook my duties to the very best of my ability. And um, about three months into my tenure, there was a huge managerial shift. And all of a sudden, I'm being told over and over, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. And those items were things that we had already discussed that because of my disability, I wouldn't be able to do. And when, you know, I spoke up and said, well, you know, that's not part of the accommodations, I was let go. I was told that my position was being phased out due to budgetary concerns. But they advertised for and hired people to fill my job description the week after, I, the same week that I was let go. There were two people who were hired after I was hired who were not let go. So I really believe that management no longer wished to honor the reasonable accommodations and let me go because of my disability. I think that that's in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And more than that, I'm concerned that if they will do that to an employee who has a disability, what are they doing to the clients that have disabilities? How are they treating them if they would treat me that way? When I got let go, I did make, you know, I called Social Security because I was doing the ticket to work kind of thing. And I called them to say, this is what happened. I believe that they let me go because of my disability and I'm making a report to you, but as far as I know, it hasn't been followed up on. So, and I didn't know what else to do until I got to talk to you guys. Do you feel like the new management was the source of this disruption? Definitely. Um, they had brought some managers in from other offices to work with our office, but they didn't come in and sit down with us and say, where do you see the problems? You know, what are, do you have some ideas for resolution? They came in and said, we're changing everything. You're gonna do it our way or you're gonna leave. There was no conversation whatsoever. Um, our office has, at that time, had one of the largest territories to cover. Um, we went to very far outlying schools in um, northern Missouri and we had a person who lived in that area who had kind of been given um, that piece to do because it made sense. She lives there, she knows the community. When you live in a small town that's a big deal because people already know you in the community you're more likely to get um, employers to let us bring clients in to do assessments. You're more likely to get employer, employers to say, yeah, we'll think about hiring this person, bring them down, let, you know, we'll talk to them. And um, that just completely got blown up. And then she was fired. When did the shift in management take place? 
it was early, early spring. Oh, okay, this year. Yeah. yeah oh, this okay. Year. And these were managers from other CEI locations, so right. that's has been going on at other locations. Oh, yes. My background, um, I was a critical care nurse for the better part of two decades. Um, I trained with United Cerebral Palsy Foundation. I did an internship at Hattie Larum. Um, I worked with Weaver School and Workshop. So I had some background in working with people with disabilities. And as a critical care nurse, one of my priorities was always advocating for my patients. And I felt like it was also necessary for me to advocate for those clients for their best interest, for what they've told me that their needs are, their concerns are. And when I would try and do that, I was essentially told, I don't care. We're going to do it our way. I want more than anything for this action to change that corporate culture. We're supposed to be there for the client's best interest, not just for making money. And when I was trying to do assessments with these clients to discover what skills they had, what talents they had, what areas they needed to work on, and I'm told, push them through, push them through, push them through. We need to get this money in, not let's do what's in the best interest of our clients. We have a huge problem. One of my concerns was something that that a manager said that just completely floored me. Now, I'm from a military family. I'm a military daughter. I'm a military sister. I'm a military aunt. I'm a military mom. I have the greatest respect for the military. But this manager came into a, a meeting and he said, well, you know, you can take our clients to military recruiters as a, uh, a job interview because that counts as a job interview and if they, you know, if they get signed on then that counts as a job and you'll be sure to get your, your 30, 60, 90 day checks because they can't leave it. And then they all started laughing like it was funny. And I was completely appalled. I would, Having the background that I have, I know that if any of our clients were accepted into the military, they wouldn't be in training programs. They have learning disabilities. They have things that would exclude them from any training other than which end of the gun to point at the bad guy. And being so cavalier about doing something like that blew my mind. And he seemed to think that it was perfectly fine. I don't understand it. 